everybody. Well, it was back to Friday action last weekend. Basically, so by some ruin town, let's go and check out what happened. This is a dilemma, I guess, for Ashley Tate because now you've got two immensely capable netminds. You had anyway, but you pretend you've got a potential game winner down there in Jordan Lawler, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. All three of them. Even Weller Evans last year was um, player of the year, I think, for October and November because of his performances. Stewart checking back really well there. Just shows his two-way game, Liam Stewart, so well. Carlon. Tom Carlon still. Wants to go in the venture. And Tom Carlon puts it in. Rebound picked up by Liam Stewart. And it's Liam Stewart that opens the scoring. 10.36 to go in the first. Great little escape from Tom Carlon, although probably allowed to go a little bit too far or further than he should. Straight through the middle. He shows the quality he's still got. Alex Metzen just powers it away, left pad, and Liam Stewart says thank you very much. I'll have that one all day long. Looking just uh, pretty much skating through his man. Stewart again, scored the first goal. Just sticks it in, that's a great goal! And that's straight into Holden Barnes going up. He doubles the lead. Liam Stewart to Holden Barnes going up right in front of the blue paint. Great goal with 126 to go in the first. Just came off another bison skate. But Stewart just threw it through. Bars Garner right in front. He'll be happy with that. Lightning double their lead. AIB Lightning two. Basin Stone Bison nil. Holden Bars Garner is a completely different player to what he was last season. He was a man of match last night. Yeah. Uh, he, Saturday night, sorry. Absolutely brilliant. Another shot comes in, parried away by Smith. He's lost sight of it. A couple of players go tumbling over with a minute to go in this first period. Shot comes in and Bison, uh, Bison get one back. And so they'll all go for a bit of a hug just to celebrate. So referee Stephen Matthews with his hand in the air. Uh, I'm not entirely sure the referee Matthews hasn't seen something there. Bobby jumped him. Bobby jumped in. Watch. Yeah, it's called Bobby. Yeah, watch. Bang. Yeah, it's called Bobby. So, Bison fans found their voice. Good travelling Bison support down here tonight, or up here tonight. There we go. So, end of the first period. Lightning two, Bison one. So welcome back everybody. Almost start to trying to start the second uh, the second period. I'll make uh, apologies in advance because in my excitement to get set up tonight, um, I forgot to put the on goal behind goal cameras. So when you see the highlights, you won't get the first three goals. <laughs> not not on the not on the GoPros anyway. Because I, I set them up and turned them on and checked them, and then turned them off again to save the battery and then turn them back on. So welcome back everybody. We're now live. We do apologise, you've lost nine minutes of the game. Well, <laughs> you've lost a couple of goals, so I do apologise. Nothing we could do, bit of a software glitch our end, which is uh, really unusual, first time it's happened. And here come Lightning once again, Liam Stewart goes in for the shot, goes low! Liam Stewart makes it 4-2. Short-handed. Short-handed goal. There's one thing Lightning, uh, well, it's becoming a thing for them. <laughs> and he goes 
Rose all the way back down to the Bison end. Excuse me whilst I'm trying to commentate whilst plugging sockets into our monitors. So I think we might have that, but not shot comes in. That's third goal back for Bison. Good recovery. That's a power play goal for Bison there. I think it was scored by Alex Roberts, 94. But, uh, a goal there actually. We've been, we've been putting monitors back into it, we haven't been able to actually see the game. <laughs> They're not out of this game at all. Apart from on our knees. Yeah, it was indeed. Shot comes in. Uh, just skipped a little bit, but uh, so seven goals. It's really end to end stuff now. This is a belter. I did say this earlier. Norris just pushes it back in near post. Talbot couldn't get on the end of it. And Bison looked to clear once again. Talbot again down in the corner. Chamberlain's there for support. And Norris comes away with it and gets another shot. Makes it 5 3. Well, <laughs> that was like watching a slow motion play. It was, to be fair. Norris had himself a lot of room there. Comes out loose. He's got two players either side of him. Nobody there, John. No one there. He's going to take those all day long, isn't he? Well, he's not a sniper for nothing. Russell just skips away from a challenge. Got involved in that feisty stuff, Sam Russell. Come on again, just trying to throw backhand out front and just retains his strength and his balance there. Barnes Garner onto the blue line. Nags just dinks it in. Stewart again, that's a brilliant goal! Picks it up, backhand, turns instantly, just fires it past Alex Metham. That's as good as goal you're going to see from a complete poacher. Well worked goal. Nags just pushes it in backhand. Stewart picks it up and just fires it instantly. 6-3 Lightning. Nice and down to the, uh, the left hand side. Sam Talbot will just punch that down into the goal. And Alex Metham goes in for a bit of afters now. You know what, John? As the booze ring around, Metsy will be loving that. Absolutely loving that. And a little bit more pushing and shoving as uh, Sean Norris gets involved as well. Well, where there's one, there's the other. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Shot comes in again. It's the uh, stick of Jameson this time, I think. Mackenzie. Three on three here. And puck bobbles up and Metham takes it into his glove once again. We have got a change of shirt. Uh, we've got a number five. Zach Milton. And so Zach Milton has changed yeah. his shirt. And Zach Milton's going to... Zach Milton wants blood all over his other shirt as well now because he's gone for Mackenzie. <laughs> he's going through a few tonight. <laughs> And why not? A bit more pushing and shoving. I think they're arguing about who sent who Call Secret Santas. Now. I think it's all to do with Secret Santas. Oh God, this is so surreal. So it's now four on three then. Four on three. Did he disappear? Great save, Smith, with the right pad save. 46 seconds to go. Tate. High sticks for Jameson. Tate. Doubting out. Coming up to the 30 second mark. Already finished the second period. Take with a one timer into the back of Stewart, who goes down. And that's another goal, 6 4. And you can't boo about that. Liam Stewart was hit by the puck, blocking the shot. Six four it is. That's going to sting in the morning. And to be fair, Liam Stewart had covered up and then he got up to make a move as if he was going to get up. The referee's not going to blow that. And that's what I love about this game. Instead of sitting there and booing the referees, why don't I just get in and join the chance and everything else? Bison fans making noise, Lightning fans making noise. Ten seconds to go in this second period. 
Well, it's been eventful with one thing and another, and that is an understatement. But at the end of this second 20 minute period, it's Milton Keynes line in six, Basingstoke Bison four. And a lot of these kids that have come in when Covid's happened are actually showing that they're capable of playing at this yeah. level. Yeah. And it's only because of Covid that they're really showing this now. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be playing your same old 32-year-old Tom Collins week in, week out. Oh. And Michael Farns, but hey, there we go. You're not bitter or anything like that, are you? No, never. You really are starting to sound like somebody who may be down in Wiltshire. But, you know. Both teams are back to uh, full strength. Oh. Griffin coming round again. Well, there's a saying, when Griff scores we conga. You can't do that in these Covid times, but when Griff goes pretty much coast to coast, as he does there, first game back after injury, that is one great goal. All the way around the outside, cuts in, just goes straight past Metton, pretty much as if he isn't there and just puts it into the open goal. <laughs> And what a goal celebration afterwards as well. 7-4 to Lightning. Face off one by Talbot that time. Max, there's backhand. Now there's an opportunity to break. Talbot goes round one, goes round two, gets the shot away. Good save by Metten, the follow up by Norris. Makes it 8-4. Once again, <laughs> Talbot and Norris combining for Milton Keynes Lightning. Well worked goal once again. Shows the pace in behind the last man. And the puck's never dead until it's dead. And now there's Sean Norris to pick up the rebound. 8-4 it is, 10-12 to go. It's been a good crowd here for a Friday night, Chris. It's been, yeah. It's been a good game of hockey yeah. for Milton Keynes, and uh, we've been very clinical. We've had a lot of gusto on attempts, but uh, we fight another day tomorrow. Absolutely. I guess we just go again, same as every weekend, don't you? That's it. So, at the end of the uh, end of that game, final score AIB Milton Keynes Lightning 8, the Basingstoke Bison. <laughs> One absolutely cracking game of hockey between two great sides. Great win for Lightning, of course, and after the game we caught up, as usual, with Lightning head coach Lewis Clifford. Um, Cliff, really good game to watch if you're a neutral, yeah. but I guess at times that, that a little bit frustrating? It's frustrating, yeah. I think um, there was two main areas there that probably frustrating for me as a coach and maybe, you know, you guys watching on is firstly, taking far too many ridiculous penalties and then secondly having the inability to kill those penalties you know um, our penalty kill has been a, a strong point for us over the course of the season and tonight we just couldn't kill one and and it was just like a, a snowball like we kept taking them kept getting scored on kept taking get, kept getting scored on but yeah no the, the boys pulled through in the end and and, and saw the game out I was going to say that because it, it, it frustrating as it was at, at times some of that finishing was absolutely clinical wasn't it yeah, there, um, there was patches in every period, I felt, um, where we, we looked really good offensively. And then there was patches in the first two periods where we just looked suspect when we didn't have the puck. Um, with that, you know, we've got a couple of guys coming back in today that haven't played for a long time. I thought they, they performed admirably, but there, there's obviously that bit of rustiness, you know, bit of timing, bit of positioning. But, you know, they, they really dug in and, you know, they were playing just as many minutes, if not more, as everybody else on the team so speed of uh, you talked about them coming back in the speed of Sammy Russell and, and, and Griff uh, tonight you, you could see that they've been they've kept up their, fit, their levels of fitness um, you know some at, at times Griff was unplayable at times yeah Gr Griff's like a wind-up toy and he was like he was here really early tonight he looked really excited and it, um, and you could just tell that he's either gonna like land a massive hit or he's going to do something outrageous with the puck like he did tonight. And his goal, you know, it's uh, maybe a once every now and then for Griff. But he's got that in his locker. And, you know, um, with the excitement of coming back and playing, uh, you know, it, something was always going to happen tonight with Griff. Man of the match award tonight for Liam Stewart. And, and I think 
at tonight, more, one game more than any of this season, Liam Stewart, I think, has proven just what a good two-way player he is. Because, he, you know, he's, he's scoring goals, but he's, we've always said he, he just blocks shots. He was taught that from a really early age. He just gets in the way. Yeah. Uh, yes, I mean, Stewie, you know, had a, a lot of expect, well, a lot of weight on his shoulders tonight. Both his line mates are out injured. Um, we cobbled together a line. I thought Holds was excellent with him. And obviously, TC uh, stepped in and played on the line with Stewie. And... Um, and actually, you know, I spoke to Stewie in the week. I was like, do you want me to move some things around to like try and give you like, some different line mates or whatever? And he was like, no, leave the other lines as they are. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, and I thought those other two guys played off of him really well. But um, yeah, playing in the middle, he's normally, obviously for us, he's a winger. Um, I thought, yeah, he was that exceptional tonight. Obviously, we had the two guys come back. It's still frustrating because we've got guys out with, with injury once again who are missing tonight. And, you know, what, what, what's the story of those? Are, you know, is Adam Leishman, is that day pretty much day to day? And uh, Yeah, very much day to day. You know, he could be back on Sunday or he could be back next week or he could be back in two weeks' time. Like, we don't know. Um, he'll, he'll be back when he's back. Um, he's just as frustrated as I am, as you are, as all, all the fans are. Uh, he'll be back as soon as he can. And, and same with Cows. Uh, probably not Sunday, but he could be back as soon as next weekend. So we've just got to find a way to, you know, put a team together again on Sunday and, and go again. I was going to say that you got a day off effectively on Saturday, and you know, sort of, you know, <laughs> ease the bruising if you like, because there was, you know, there was some there was some hard knocks going in that game, and but that's going to be a, a yet another toughie up to Leeds. Only what the second time we've met this season, um, the different third proposition. Time, I think, yeah. Yeah, 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 different proposition. Uh, you know, this time round. Yeah, I mean, like I actually think. For us, we've only seen Leeds twice here and uh, once they were at kind of full strength and once they were really, really short on, on bodies and both times they've given us a really good game. Once they beat us and once we just squeaked out a win against them. Uh, I actually think it might just be, you know, um, sort of recency bias. I, we haven't seen them for a long time and um, what I remember from those games, but I think that they're one of the best teams in the league and the hardest to play against. So it's going to be an interesting game in their rink, you know, smaller ice. You know, obviously they play there every week. They've got some really, really good players, and it's going to be a tough game. Brilliant. Well, listen, thanks as always for chatting to us, Lewis. Uh, great. Have a, well, enjoy your day off tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, safe travels on Sunday. Cheers, Chris. Thanks. Well, as normal, many, many thanks to Cliff for taking the time to chat to us after the game. Don't forget Saturday action next weekend here at the Milton Keynes Arena. Lightning host Raiders once more. Seven o'clock face off, of course. For all the details, you can get Lightning Media and, of course, the website. Have a great week. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.